What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So I got another update on the 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. Uh, this is a full 3D printed model. So I want to show you guys where I'm at so far before you know, basically get it all patched up and you know, get it done. So everything is ready for paint, or not ready. It's all in paint, and um, you know, it's basically all downhill from here. Basically, at this point, I just gotta get it patched up and you know, ready to go. So let's show you the nitty gritty parts. So all of the parts on this particular dark horse, uh, there's a lot of parts on here that are flat black, such as the spoiler. Let me get my camera to focus. There we go. So a spoiler, the front diffuser, or you know, this guy right here, you know, obviously flat black. Um, the exhaust right here, this one I did in a dark steel exhaust. So that's what we got right here. So it looks black, but it's actually a really dark steel. It kind of does look like black. Uh, the windshield wipers, you know, nothing too special right there. Headlight or headlights, the um, mirrors or yeah, the mirrors, body color. So nothing too special. I just have to paint the chrome on there for it to be effective of you know for the mirror. Then you get the brakes right here. You got the rear brakes and we got the front brakes. So there's the brakes right there. Brakes look really good. These are your back ones and we got the bumbles on there. So very cool. And then we got the regular front ones, much bigger than the back ones. Uh, so the color on these actual brakes are a different color than the actual car in real life. The brakes are like a lighter blue. So it just it just gives the car a nice contrast, you know, it gives it a nice contrast, you know, so it's not awesome in color. So very cool. So those will be behind uh, these guys right here. These are our wheel package, and these are very cool. They're like a, like a gray. Uh, the actual car, they're not black. They're like this really dark gray, you know, glossed, obviously. So, um, very cool. So, we got those going. So, and those will go around these rubber tires right here. Uh, so, we got the fat back ones and the skinny front ones. So, very cool. Painting these. Uh, uh, what are these? These are splash paints, rubber black. <laughs> so they're very cool and then we got the tail lights right here these are also 3d printed um i got clear red resin so very cool so basically we just have to paint the inside where those arrows are uh those arrows are going to stay red and then the interior um, is going to be black so then we'll do a little nice gloss coat probably just do like a like a tamaya you know uh this gloss uh, right here so don't want too glossy but just enough that will pop out the red and uh, you know so the black's not too flat so very cool so we got those going uh they're a pretty tight fit right now so i do have to sand them down just a tad bit more so they go in the tail light assembly better but uh those are all set and ready uh, i might have showed you guys this on the first update this is our window part tree thing you want to call it uh this is a vacuum formed so you got the windshield or windows right here your main windshield your back glass your headlights are right here uh, headlights and then your uh, quarter window right there so very cool i do have to uh, get these buffed out and stuff so I'll just you know do some polishing compounds we'll bring those out really nicely so we got those going and then we got the interior right here the interior is actually very nice uh, so we got the dashboard right there Look at that. We got the carbon fiber in there. Uh, the screen I just did flat black, or not flat, but you know, a gloss black to represent it's off because obviously I don't have a decal. Then we got the interior of the seats, like a, like a high quality texture, you know, a fabric. So very cool. And then we got the flocking on there. Um, then we got the pony on there that is actually metal transfer decal. I'll show you guys that here in a sec. But very cool. The interior is actually really nice and you know looks looks really cool. I'll show you what it looks like inside the body here in a minute. Um, so here is decal. Uh, obviously this is a 3D print model. Obviously there's no decals included. Um, so I went on eBay and I look, tried looking for 124 scale Mustang logos. And this guy came up. It shipped from Canada, I think. Yeah, it came from Canada. So it didn't take too too long to get here. But 
This is actually very cool. These are metal transfer decals. Um, just because you don't know what these are, they're you know, like I said, they're metal transfer. They're they're metals. They're, it's metal photo edge basically, but it's a sticky side on the back, so they act like decals. So I use one right there, the small one for the steering wheel. Um, obviously, I'm gonna be using probably the yeah, the bigger one right there for the front grille and then also the back bumper area. But yeah, basically every Shelby, every Mustang on here. You got the to the Shelby, to the Cobra. Um, that's the Cobra right there. That's a Shelby. You got the 5.0 for the you know the engine. Small, big, whatever. Then we got some more Mustang logos. Then we got the Mach One right there. Mach One's pretty cool. Then, you know, in the RTR, um, RTR is actually more like an upgraded version of the Ford Mustang. So, they're not, it's not an actual Mustang brand or, you know, trim way it is. But an RTR is like an aftermarket company where they perform, they do more performance mods to the Mustang. And they give it a different front grille, different wheels. You know, they do little extra touches. So, that's what RTR is. So, very cool. So, very cool decal sheet. And, you know, um... Came from Canada, so not too bad. So, and I think this whole sheet was like eight bucks. Not bad for, you know, that sheet's gonna last you for a long time. <laughs> so, very cool. Then, let's get to the body. We got it polished up and cleared, except my fingerprints are still on there, but that's why we do a polish. So, once we're done, we can just wipe my fingerprints right off with no ease. So, the body color is absolutely insane. This is a pre mixed color from Splash Paints. I told you the color um, on my last update video. I, it's called. I forgot the name of it. Um, go to my last update video. I explain the name. But this is a Pacific color for the Mustang Dark Horse. It's like a blue, as you can see it right here. But in certain angles, um, it has like a red pearlescent to it. I'm not sure you can see it, but. Um, I'll put some pictures on your screen if you if you can't see it, but it's a nice pearl that's out of the sun. It's where it really shines. That's where I took the pictures actually. Then we get the flat black uh, spots under here for, under the headlights. Uh, that's how it how it is on the real dark horse. And you got the grill. The grill is actually gloss black on the real car. And then you get the must. You got the horse under there, which you can't really see because it's kind of uh, black in there. But uh, there we go. That's where we'll put another one of those metal transfer decals on. Then, of course, we'll put one on back here. Then, the flat, we got a flat black rear diffuser. Just like the real car. And then, we got our stripe. So, this is actually, you know, this stripe is particularly for the dark horse. Um, I did a flat black. I used Tamiya flat black XF1. Put it on there, and it's pretty flat. I mean, it's I, it's just like this. You know, I didn't. Go, this is just how it is. How it comes out, and I didn't want the strip that flat because that's not how it is on a real car. So what I did was I got some polish compound. So I tried it to see how it will work. I used the ultimate polish from McGuire's, and just get well wag, well put on your wag. Can just kind of rub it in there. You know, don't rub too hard, and then it gives it that nice. Glossy matty finish. I got to put our coat on there, but look at that. It looks really nice. So it's not too flat where it's just pitch black, you know, just, you know, kind of like that. I do want a little gloss to it, and look at that. It looks absolutely insane. So very cool. I'm glad I did that, and it just looks really good. So very cool. So that's how we got that going. Um, let's show you how the interior will go in. So basically, I got just paint, I got paint the headliner black still, but after once we do that, we'll just put the interior in, and then it just kind of locks into place. And look at that! <laughs> this is so cool. And this is full 3D printed. You know, it's it's, it's really cool. We can do a full 3D printed model these days, and it's just the te the technology is just it's incredible. So that's how the interior will look, and you know. Very cool, not much you're going to see much anyway, but what you can see is pretty cool. And then here is the chassis, you know, just paint it flat black. Um, if, if you remember my first update, I did have a little bit of warp on the chassis, um, because I kind of kept it on the um, 3D printer supports too long, I think, and just kind of warped it. So, got that straightened out, just use a blowtorch, 
um, just bolt torch spots. So I just bolt torch here and here. Um, you can kind of see the line here, but you can, just the line where I kind of bend it. Uh, just I bolt torched it, and it's just it's it's square now. So very cool. And then this will just kind of lock into place under here, and then it will just slide into place like that. And then your your front foot here will go on right here to fill in that gap. And then this just kind of locks in, and then your exhaust goes right there. And that's it for the chassis. You know, not too basic. It's pretty basic, but you know, it doesn't matter. You're not flipping your model over, and this is you know, you're not gonna be seeing as much anyway. So, very cool. But other than that, guys, that's it for this update. Just want to show you guys so far. And then, oh yeah, here's these things. These are the things that lock into your wheels. So these go in here. And then you can move in or out or whatever and then you know your wheels will go on there so nothing too special just in case you're wondering how the wheels mount but other than that that's it we're gonna get this thing patched up i gotta do the windows next i gotta get those polished out and make them nice and gloss and then i cut them out and then i gotta do the black trim so that should be fun because you know it's i gotta make it from scratch <laughs> but all right guys until my next video next time you see this should be the final hopefully but all right, guys, until my next video, I'll catch you all next time. Take it easy.